Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game today in deck number 781. We're going to talk about Dritzt. I'm told that's how we pronounce it. Dr I don't even know. Dorgen? Okay. So for five mana, three green and a white. We did a 3-3 three, three Elf Ranger with Double Strike. That's pretty sweet. And brings a buddy. Uh, when Dritzt enters the battlefield, you get Gwynevar. A 4-1 cat. So, um... Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, so, but then, whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Dritz's power, put a number of 1-1 one, one counters on it equal to the difference. So I sat down and, and thought about it, and I was like, you know, there's going to be a cap to that at some point in time where Dritz is going to be the biggest creature on the board. I wasn't exactly certain where to go with it. And I know I did not want another elf deck. <laughs> but that last line kind of stuck with me. The plus one, plus one counter. So that was kind of the direction I went. Uh, was plus one, plus one counters and lots of removal uh, to kill creatures. So let's get into our, well, let's do our mana fixing first. Why not? We have Soul Ring, Lanoir Elf, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Marble Diamond, Rampant Growth, Farseek, Selesnya Signet, Cultivate, Harrow, Selesnya Locket, Wildfield Border Post, Selesnya Cluestone, and the core cartographer so a um, little bit of card draw not a whole bunch we have right of flourishing garrick's pack leader and uh, the return of the wild speaker so the plus one plus one counter stuff um i i was pretty sure early on i was going to do the plus one counter so i, I wanted the evolution sage and the contagion class but we're going to go ahead and play with our focus a little bit so it stops doing that so conclave mentor was a great card by the way there are a ton of cards that could have gone in here had i had them all the doubling season type effects and uh but use what i had in the room uh we've got Good Fortune Unicorn. Whenever the creature enters the battlefield, it starts off with a plus one counter. So that's neat, though. The proliferate really helps there. And, you know, it helps out Guinevere and it helps out Dritzt. And, you know, Scavenging Ooze is a great utility card and it deals with counters. Fleece Main Lion uh, doesn't look. <laughs> I have passed on, on this card for so long because I was like, two minute three three is good, but. We're kind of immune to that now, but five mana and a monstrosity one, please. But it gets indestructible and hexproof. That's really good for a four four. <laughs> Dragon's Guard Elite. Double the number of counters on it. That's uh and you get a wow, the mage craft is Orin Reef Ooze. Invigorating Surge I really like. You know put a counter on it, and then double it. So that it's... Undoubtedly, we're putting counters on Dritz with the spells, you know. Uh, inspiring Call. It's going to draw some cards. Abzon Falconer is going to... Flying. Uh, Tuscard Captain. Going to give it Trample. High Sentinels of Arashin is just going to... It gets plus one, plus one for each other creature with a one counter, and then you can pass out counters. Champion of the Lamb Holt's a good card. You want to blow somebody's mind? Cast a Chlorophon. People will ask to read it. <laughs> Custody Soulbinders. Cytoplast Rootkin. You get to move those counters. Armorcraft Judge. More card drawn. Bullet. If a creature died this turn, oh, they're probably going to die. We're going to get to skip to removal next. Uh, 
the Gladeheart Cavalry. Increasing savagery. That's a beast on a commander. I am telling you. Uh, Wildwood Scourge. Neverwinter Hydra. And Crags Plate Bayloth. Now, this card doesn't see a whole lot of love. For me, this is a 10 mana card. Um, I mean, it just is. Because uh, you're not going to put it in a deck unless you know you can kick it. Uh, but 10 mana for a 10-10 hexproof haste. That's, um, well, that's right up there with Tarrasque, isn't it, almost? So, removal. White is our hardcore color here. I mean, we got a little bit of stuff like Plummet, just in case, but... Uh, we're using white as our removal color, which is uh, kind of difficult to do because white likes to just exile things. So we have Spurn Mage Advocate. Y'all know how I feel about uh, deal-making cards. You know, you can help somebody and uh, destroy target attacking creature. Smite. For one mana, destroy target blocked creature. I like this. I like this a lot because y'all know how much I love to, you know play around in combats that I'm not involved in. Uh, Sunlance. It's almost a bolt. Almost. Uh, can kill a creature. Uh, swift response. Destroy target. Tap creature. Creatures uh, without vigilance. Tap when they're declared as attacker so you can smile, you know, swift response it uh, before it gets to the combat damage. Reprisal. Better card than people think about. It. Uh Bury is the old term for destroy without possibility of regeneration. Purge. Destroy target artifact creature or black creature. Uh, okay. Uh, immolating Glare. Valorous Stance. Destroy target creature with toughness for a greater. A um, little bit of... Celestial Purge, I know kind of doesn't belong, but it's Exile, a black or red permanent, but that's also um, artifacts, planeswalkers, you, you know, things that aren't creatures. Uh, we do have the uh, Sundering Growth, Disenchant, and Return to Nature. Uh, now, Afterlife is one of the first cards I put in there. Really like that one. Uh, Path of Peace. Route. But wing shards, because I never get tired of that lesson. I learned it the hard way. <laughs> uh, a few other creatures, just because they're big, you know, and, you know, we kind of want creatures that are bigger than Dritz to start off with. These were early in the deck cycle before I hit upon that plus one, plus one counter theme. Uh, but it does cost less if a creature died this turn, and that's the whole thing is we're killing creatures. Uh, played Slagworm. Just... 7 mana, 8-8, eight, eight, Hexproof. That, that that seems pretty good. And then our last two non-land cookers, Overruns, good card. But Timely Ward. Um, if it targets... Uh, I mean, I, I, I would like to make Dritz indestructible. That's kind uh, of... That's kind of that's kinda right in line with things I like to do. <laughs> so then we get to our non-basics. You know, we have... Uh, Evolving Wilds, Elfame Palace. Aren't y'all proud of me? It's not an elf deck. I'm proud of me. It's not an elf deck. <laughs> I'm about out of elf cards. Uh, Celestia Guildgate, Sun Petal Grove, Sungrass Prairie, Scattered Groves, Fortified Village, Blossoming Sands, Tranquil Expanse. Celestia Sanctuary, Grapeheld Refuge, Stirring Wildwood, Blighted Woodland, Terramorphic Expanse, Command Tower, and I know we don't really need the Rogue's Passage because, you know, but it's a commander damage thing, so I did put it in there. <laughs> but that is it for Drift. And a Guinevar. Is it Guinevere or Guinevar? Because it, it looks like Var. I don't. It's like the only card that they gave us a pronunciation for was Asmore. So. 
thankful to have that one. Uh, 781 is going to go on the wall, and I have got an issue uh, because, and I don't exactly know how I'm going to work this out, uh, so I'm just kind of talking it out. Maybe I'll come across it. 781 is all on the wall. That is almost enough because of what has happened with gestures to everything, um, with the world and the deck box that I prefer is not available, so I'm having to use one that's just slightly different. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it does. That's going to make it really snug, so I don't know. I may have to rebox some of these. Um, a row or two to get I don't know. Don't know. But we'll work it out. I can't move that because that's a whole supporting beam. So things we didn't think about when I built it years ago. So uh, yeah, yeah. Ultra Pro would be nice if you could get that uh, your box back in. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got for today. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.